Today, I'm gonna tell you why you need to go to Disney World, even if you're broke. Going to Disney World is a bucket list vacation for so many families, but oftentimes I hear people ask, how do you do it? In today's economy and with Disney prices, it's not exactly easy, but that doesn't mean that you can't do it, even if you're broke. Our first trip was in 2018, and let me tell you, I saved and scheduled and planned and researched for two years before we were able to go, but it was so worth it. So why do I think that you need to do it if you are in the same position we were in back in 2018? Well, it's because it broke so many belief barriers for us. You always hear in goal setting and dreaming and vision casting that your why is what's most important. And if you have a why connected with your family, you're more likely to succeed. Well, a family vacation to Disney World is pretty much the best why I can think of. There are a few steps that I took to get us to Disney World, and it was a family effort. We got gift cards for Christmas, for birthdays, for Easter, for every holiday that one could get a gift card for, and then some. We sold things. I got on apps like Swagbucks and I made money that way because my why was so strong. I sat and cried over my two-year-old's head and thought, when, how, I need to make this happen. And ever since we made it happen, things come easier because we've already done the impossible. Now we can move on to more impossible things. And when we check those off, there's always another adventure around the corner. We've gone three times now since 2018, and we love it every time, but there was nothing quite like the feeling of pride and accomplishment that first trip. I cried the entire trip. I was sure every step of the way that something was going to prevent us from having the best vacation ever, but you know what? Nothing did. I cried when we got on the plane and got through security. I cried when we touched down in Orlando. I cried when we got our luggage. I cried on the bus. I cried on the sign. I cried in the resort. I was just so overwhelmed with gratitude for the hard work that we had put in to make this happen. And so thankful for the support of our family and friends and all of the people that bought the stuff we were selling so that we could get there. I know when times are tough, especially financially, it's hard to justify taking such a big vacation. But if you go back years later and look at the memories and the smiles and the laughters, you're never going to regret spending the money. The time is going to pass. And you've never got that moment with your child, with your spouse, with your partner, whomever it is, again. So if you've been on the fence about planning your vacation, I want to encourage you to take the leap. The first step is deciding that it's going to happen. Don't let anything stop you, especially your own mind. You can do this. It is achievable and it's going to be the best time of your life because you've worked hard for it and you deserve it. And that's why you should go to Disney World even if you're broke.